Carlo being scored. Also, some blue alliance Carlo being scored. And one final blue alliance Carlo towards the end of our autonomous period. Team 27, Team Rush scoops up two pieces of blue alliance Carlo, swiftly puts them up into the upper hub. Their partner right behind them, fighting Bulldogs with one successful score up into that upper hub. On the Blue Alliance Team 1787, the Flying Circus has two pieces of purple just now delivered into the upper hub. On the Red Alliance Team 69 Flag, Bison Robotics has two pieces of Blue Alliance purple in their possession, creating a bit of a supply chain disruption for this Blue Alliance. Bison Robotics also try to play some defense against whatever Blue Alliance robots they can. Team 2614 on the Blue Alliance, that's Mars. Has a red cargo and a blue cargo in their possession. Right now with 70 seconds left in the match, the Red Alliance is ahead, but both alliances are doing a great job of continuing to load, store, and deliver their cargo into both of these hubs. Actually, they're only focusing mostly on the upper hub during this match. Only one cargo so far has been scored into the lower hub. Red Alliance cargo going up, Blue Alliance cargo going up. Multiple cargo scored for each alliance into the upper hub. Team 27, Team Rush takes the defense like a champ from Amped Robotics and scores both of those cargoes into the upper hub. In our Red Alliance hangar, the Fighting Bulldogs are up on the high run. And with 20 seconds left, they're going for the Traversal Prime. On the Blue Alliance, the Fighting Flying circuits are up on the traversal rung. That is a traversal hang for the Blue Alliance. Two traversal hangs for the Red Alliance. With three, two, one. Take off, taking the win with a score of 112. 275. So in our playoff bracket, in our finals matches, our Red Alliance is ahead so far.